guys, Shadow Tensei here, and today I am back with another video. And first of all, I am really sorry that I haven't posted in so long. And the reason is that um, my tripod broke, actually, and I got a new one last week, but um, obviously I couldn't make a video because it usually takes me about a week to make a video. And this piece took a lot of time and a lot of effort, and there was so much detail. Um, so basically, this is the entry for... Um, Jessica Kula for her 5,000 plus subscribers and it is um, based on mythology and I, I decided to draw Mother Earth. So Mother Earth is basically a mythological figure that has been in um, tons of like different stories so from like Greek to Roman to like Aboriginal um, there has always been some form of Mother Earth so I thought it would be um, pretty fitting to kind of draw Mother Earth because I was feeling very naturey that day and so here it is. Um, so basically, the idea behind this is that um, Mother Earth is a very loving figure. Um, she's a mother figure, and Earth is her child. So she is holding the Earth in her hands and basically showing that she loves it and everything. Um, and this piece is done in acrylic and gouache. And I was planning to use oil at first, but the thing is, um, when I do oil, it takes a really long time because the drying time is so long and also because uh, I just felt like acrylic that day and I have a lot of acrylic and lots of gouache and I wanted to improve my skills on it, so that's why I did it. And also, I feel like this piece could have been way more detailed. I usually try um, to put as much detail as I can because every time I finish the piece, it looks very rough. and. I always think that I could have done better, I could have added more detail, so this time I really tried. Um, so this whole thing was done over a period of about a week, so I took about like two hours each day to do it, and it turned out pretty nice actually. And I've gotten really attached to this piece, um, partly because I spent so much time on it, I'm like, okay, I really love you, um, it looks awesome, so I'm like, I can't believe I actually like this piece. Um, I didn't think that I would like it at first because um, in the beginning, as you can see, everything was super rough. Like this earth does not look like does not look like an earth yet. It's so rough, and all the colors are just like not blending, and nothing looks right. Uh, but perseverance won, so I stuck with it, and I continued, and it turned out fine. And I also used a lot of references, especially for this earth. I could not get the details of the white spot clouds right, so I kept going over it as you can see. This whole earth took about an hour, um, and it did not look that great in the end, honestly. Uh, so I'm kind of disappointed, and I don't know what the heck I'm doing here. I think I was trying to create a cloud effect around the earth, but unfortunately that did not work, so I took it out at the end. And here I am using cheap acrylic white uh, mixed with gouache because White is used a lot in like paintings, so I decided not to use like an expensive paint and, and, and instead use like a cheaper one that still has the same effect and that mixes quite well. So here it is. And initially, the dress was supposed to kind of fade off into waves from the ocean. Um, that did not go through, so right now I'm just painting the dress and later I will add the background. And I was initially initially planning for the background to be a space, just a whole black background with like stars, but I decided to put some more effort into it. So it's gonna be fading from white to black. And something that does not make sense in this picture is the fact that there are clouds on the bottom of the painting. So if she is holding the earth, then where are the clouds coming from? Um, I noticed that as soon as I did it, but it looked nice, so I hope you can overlook that. And this is mythology, so it's okay, you don't have to focus on the details. <laughs> and here I am painting the clouds. I used a reference for this as well because I could not paint clouds that were like purple and pink. Um, they didn't look good at first, so I had to like keep changing it. And here I am painting the planets. So these planets are obviously not astronomically correct. Um, they are pink and purple, and I will be struggling with the rings later on. Um, basically, yeah, here I am doing it, and after a while, this actually took about half an hour, and after a while, I shut off the camera and gave up, so you don't see that, but yeah, I had to go and fix it, 
a bunch of times. Um, but overall, I think that all the effort has been worth it. I think it looks pretty nice. Um, so anyways, hope you enjoy, and bye guys!